Hi, everyone. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about um, how important it is to, um, to do a healing uh, ritual for children, uh, especially children who are uh, going to become a teenager, children who are going to be hitting puberty um, and going through all these changes. Um, it's really important for you to be aware of this. If you have um, kids, if you have children who are hitting their teenage um, years and their uh, teenage uh, going through adolescence, um, it's important because this is a time period where your child is experiencing changes within their body and um, that's there's things happening on the inside there's uh, lots of hormones going on changes of that physically um, changes too uh, they're um, growing you know here facial hair here on their body um, and along with that comes spiritual changes and so um, there's changes that are happening to them on um, many different levels, um, you know, physiological, physical, and spiritual. So it's a time that can become very difficult for our children, our kids, and some of them, uh, they go through this period and, you know, they are, strong spiritually so they come out fine they come out okay they come out uh, to be stronger as a, a person as an adult um, but for other children who may have a, a need for spiritual healing who might be a little bit more uh, weaker with their spirituality then what happens is that this is a period that is very difficult for them it's very, um, it's a very trying period for them. And some of them might go through a lot of things that they cannot handle and you as a parent cannot handle. So um, I didn't know that um, there is a healing ritual that um, traditional shamans do for this. Um, and only after I had the experience of doing such a ritual and later on, I found out that, um, you know, traditionally there is a ritual that is done for, um, children who are, uh, going through, um, kind of like stepping stones, um, of becoming, um, an adult from a child um, going through being a teenager and becoming an adult. So it was nice to be able to see that um, what um, I was experiencing and what was needed was later confirmed to me uh, that that was something that is a part of traditional um, shamanic practices. So, um, this is a really trying period for your child and there's so much going on right now in the world um, it's a much tougher place and much tougher existence than it used to be in the past during the times when maybe i was a teenager it was already hard but right now it's even harder than that because there is so much more, I believe, uh, peer pressure. There is much more pressure um, from all um, directions. So our children may have a tough time um, being able to overcome all that. And uh, that's why it's important to do a spiritual healing. Um, in some other cultures, um, more, um, more primitive cultures, but I don't really like the word primitive. Um, I see it as more just more traditional cultures that I have um, held on onto uh, traditional, um, you know, ways more so. 
there's usually a um, coming of age um, um, ritual of some kind. And so um, a lot of cultures do share this uh, coming of age um, celebration or ritual or some sort of a recognition. Um, and within the Hmong culture, we don't really have that. Um, not that I'm aware of, but uh, there is a ritual that shamans may perform for um, teenage children who will become teenagers, who is already a teenager. Um, it's a ritual that will um, build um, strength into their spirituality. It will block their spirit, their spiritual energy from um, outside entities, from outside forces that are unwanted. And it will also um, allow for them to develop and to go through this trying period without with as, as little interference on the spiritual side as much as possible. So um, if this ritual, healing ritual, this spiritual um, healing ritual is performed, it protects your child from, um, you know, sometimes they might go on outings and it protects them from being from other entities um, latching onto them, from just um, kinds of dream being kind of like and within dreams, um, your spirit can become um, victimized, I would say, or what would happen is that if you are spiritually not intact, or if you are a little bit um, your spiritual energy is a little bit weaker, then what happens is that um, these dark entities or these dark forces, they will try to attack you or um, kind of try to um, possess you or um, interfere with your uh, spiritual um, strength and energy in your dreams. So then it becomes where you might start to have um, a fear of things. Uh, you might um, um, start to just not be able to um, tolerate or put up with um, things that are going on around you, um, your parents, you might not be able to put up with your friends. Um, and on the physical side and um, physiological side, uh, we see this as um, an individual having chemical imbalances, uh, hormonal Im imbalances. On the spiritual side, um, it's more due to, you know, being, um, having these external uh, spiritual energy that is interfering with you and your spirituality that also um, offsets and sets off, um, you know, your own energies. And then it sets off um, just imbalances for you that will cause you to have problems. And this is um, also the period and the um, time frame where um, kids will start to experience depression. Kids will start to really have internal conflicts with themselves, um, with their um, their their image, their self image, their friends, their families. And um, what you'll notice is that prior to that. Um, your child might be a happy child. Your child, you might not have too many problems with them, um, but as they hit their teenage years, that's when things just set off and just um, 
you know, it, it just uh, can really interfere with your relationship with your children. And so it's really important for those certain kids who might have a much um, bigger struggle, much more of a struggle um, during this period. So as I said, some kids will be uh, stronger spiritually, and even though they will go through a hard time, they will be able to overcome all the challenges that come their way. But there will be those kids who, you know, and on average, the average child will have a hard time. The average child. Just imagine that, um, you know, physically things are happening to you. Uh, chemical, there's a chemical imbalances within you. And now there's spiritual imbalances going on. And so this child is like going through so much. This child is having so many things happening to them on all like different levels. And so the, um, the child who is becoming the teenager is actually a very, very, very strong individual to be able to go through all these. But they are also so young and they are also so inexperienced that um, all those imbalances that are going through them that are happening to them um, they don't know where to displace it they don't know what to do with it and so um, the result is that there's an explosion and like there's a clash and an explosion and just uh, all these things that are bottled up together um, is trying to find a place to go and um, that's when your child becomes um, lost in rage, um, when your child becomes, um, you know, consumed with um, things other than uh, his or her family or um, even himself sometimes. And I, I do have a son that um, um, when he was going through um, when he became a teenager, um, I was already a shaman. So I, um, at that time, I really had no experience about or knowledge about what this meant, what it means for a child to go through puberty, for a child to go through um, these changes. But um, as my son became a teenager, then uh, my spiritual guides did inform me and let me know and tell me how important it is for me to do this ritual for for my my child and um, I do notice that uh, you know I've been very fortunate I've been very you know blessed um, to have um, you know very minimal events um, that you know has occurred and I'm very thankful for that um, there are also instances where I've done healing for um, others that uh, I felt it was important to that healing because um, the issue was that there was interference that was occurring uh, because this child was becoming a teenager. So um, I just wanted to speak a little bit about that. I do see that depression is a big um, thing that is hitting um, not just our Hmong community, but hitting all communities. And um, it is something that, um, you know, we don't have enough understanding about um, from a Western perspective. Uh, we just want to medicate our children. We just want to medicate them and, um, you know, is that really the best solution? Is that really going to be helping them to um, deal with that issue, deal with that problem, or is it covering it up? And so if you are just going to cover up a problem, you know, if there is another measure, another way to help uh, resolve that issue, then um, that's what I would want to do as a parent for my child. I'm not saying that uh, spiritual healing is going to resolve everything, but as a human being, we have, um, there are 
three parts to us. We have a physical part, we have a, a you know, physiological things happening, and we have a spiritual side. And so we need all these to work together to create balances for our body mentally, physically, and spiritually. We want to be able to um, heal ourselves on all levels so that um, we can have body, um, we can have balances in our minds, our body, and our spirit so that we can get through uh, those harsh times, those trying times. And, you know, we just really want to be able to help our children get through those teenage years so that they can become an adult. Once they become an adult, they are less vulnerable uh, spiritually. And so they will be able to deal with their issues uh, much better. But as a child that is becoming a teenager, um, they are also not at the spiritual level that they would be as an adult. So it is a lot harder for them to deal with. Um, they are more vulnerable spiritually. It is easier for uh, spirit, you know, like outside forces to um, attack them, to um, consume them, and to, you know, um, interact in ways that can um, hurt them um, spiritually and which can um, transfer into the physical side and then um, psychological side too. So um, I just wanted to speak a little bit about this today because um, I am sad to see um, you know, a lot of uh, people out there that um, are going through uh, hard times um, mentally, uh, psychologically, and um, just having to um, experience depression on different levels. Um, I think that if you can seek uh, help on, um, you know, these different levels, then you will be able to heal your spirit and therefore you will heal your body and you will heal yourself. And so um, thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions, please do comment below. Um, please do follow me on Facebook. I have a Shaman Facebook page. It is called um, Mong shamanic healer and spiritual awareness um please do like and subscribe and i will see you next time